we're about to run the uh, camera through the sewer line um, we're in the uh, clean outs are here and uh, it's only the clean outs of the PVC the rest of the line is actually cast iron from the look of it now when I was running the bath I was getting a very slow drain on the bath at the master um, and also a very slow drain on the uh, sewer line or a drain on the uh, shower so we're going to run this camera through now and see what we can find well this is the cast iron pipe and you can see it's heavily pitted an awful lot of corrosion the camera's finding it, I'm finding it difficult to push the camera through because it's so rough as you could imagine that um, it won't work very well as a waste pipe because the high friction um, pipe will actually uh, slow waste down and cause it to to block here we're coming up to a joint you can see how heavily corroded it is Now this cast iron is not a really good product for a sewer because the acidic nature of sewer sewerage attacks the pipe. PVC is a much better product. Another junction. You can see uh, feed coming in from the left there. A little bit of water, standing water. This is where the line has dropped. Should never be standing water in a sewer line. We're approaching the master now. You see a little bit of PVC pipe appears. This has been put in to repair the, the sewer line uh, and it's not really done done properly. It's dipped. You've got standing water here. That will block. Um, it will block all the time. You'll forever be in plunging that, uh, that commode. And we're going to go around a corner here. We're heading for the shower. And when we get to the shower, we find the shower... Uh, pipe is blocked completely so that accounts for why we uh, we didn't get any drainage at the shower we're going to go and look at the sewer line towards the road in a moment and this is the camera it's now coming but I noticed the there was mud. sewer line we've been under the house we found a, a dip in the line a belly but it's actually covered in mud so we know that the sewer is leaking under the uh, house because if it's uh, the mud has to get in there somehow and it comes through a hole or an opening wherever the water goes out so we have a broken sewer line because uh, we've got mud in it so this is not a good sewer I'm afraid to say we're now going to look down the line towards the city see what we can find there um, and whether it, it too is cast iron it is so we'll have a closer look at this we're now going uh, into the line the clean out for the city and immediately we go from PVC to cast iron so all they've done is put in uh, new clean outs this is quite common leave the old pipe in place plumbers do not seem to agree universally on what should be done with these lines um, my mind is that these cast iron lines should be replaced some plumbers say exactly the same but a lot of plumbers say oh no it's perfectly okay to use it well the problem is it isn't um, the material crumbles and flakes we're coming up to a joint this is an elbow uh, we can't make that turn with this camera because of the sheer friction in the line and I want to find out if it's leaking so I go and turn the water on you'll see water appear in a moment here goes the water it's flowing through onto the line in the line so we know it's not a break there but it's not a good joint 
you can see you you can see it's uh, it, it, it's pulling apart. There's a bit of movement there. So we've uh, normally you wouldn't see run that. Run the camera the now. Of the pipe down to the city. Uh, we didn't get all the way down here. It was a tight turn, and the camera wouldn't go round it. Um, but it was intact all the way down. I thought there was a break, but there wasn't. It was just an elbow. But there's mud in that part of the sewer too. Uh, mud coming in, it lays in the, the nooks and crannies that are pitted uh, sides and walls of the the sewer line itself. So. Um, this sewer line probably needs to be replaced.